very, very special day today because we're having a film club close encounter with Miriam Margulies and Roger Hammond. <laughs> Which is very exciting. So who would like to start? How do you get on the films? Who wants to be an actress here or an actor? You really want to? Well, that's exciting because we need lots of young ones. We don't want all the old ones like Roger and me. We need some new ones. So your question was, how do you get onto films? Well, again, I would have to say you either go to a drama school or you go to university. And at university and at drama school, they teach you how to act. And then you go into the theater you start in the theatre, that's the best place to start. How many films have you been in? I've been in about 40, something like that. What's your favourite film that you acted out? You won't have seen this, but one day when you're a bit older, perhaps you will see it. It's called Sunshine. What's it called? Sunshine! Yes. <laughs> and it's a long, long film because it's about three generations of a family in Hungary. And I loved being in that film. It was a beautiful experience. And the star of that film was called Rafe Fiennes. What was he called? Rafe Fiennes. Right. Now, all of these children oh, regularly go to film club. And so they're watching films all the time. And I'm sure they'd be quite keen to know what both of your favourite films were when you were their age. When I was little, I think my favourite film was something called Bambi. <gasps> Bambi. It made it... And you know, the, the wonderful thing about films is they can make you laugh and they can make you cry. And for some reason, crying is lovely when it's filmed. And Bambi was one of those films that made me cry. And that's why I loved it so much. Bambi was on my lips just as you said it, but Dumbo, of course, about the elephant who flew with his ears. <laughs> and that was just adorable. And I still love it now, I must say. Gosh. Now, Roger is here because he's a friend of mine, but the most exciting thing about Roger and there are many exciting things, is that he was in a film which has just won the Oscar. When you were filming The King's Speech, did you, did you and the cast and the crew have any idea that it would be so huge? I have to say, because at the beginning of a film, you all sit round a table and you read the script, you read the story together. And that morning in Leicester Square in a nice room. We all got together and I have to say there was a shiver of excitement through that room when we read it because it seemed to be especially good and one thought oh this is very special this is very special and it turned out that it was. Was it being nice in the films? It's very nice usually to be in a film because sometimes it's somewhere beautiful. It might be in Italy or France or Switzerland or America or India. Uh, but the main thing is that most actors, and I think it's, this is quite true to say, are very nice people. So you're very happy in their company and you're usually telling a very good story. And that's always nice to be in the middle of a story, you know. You know how much you like stories. Have you noticed we're very fat? <laughs> <laughs> we are very fat, aren't we? Have you noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not very pretty. Have you noticed that? Oh, that's not true. No. Now, the point of my asking those questions is because sometimes you think that only pretty people and only slender people can be actors and actresses. It's not true! <laughs> Anybody can be an actor or an actress. Anybody at all. They could have one eye, one leg, and blue hair. It doesn't
doesn't matter if you've got something inside you, in your head, that makes it possible for you to become another person, you can be an actor. Are you in Tom and Jerry cartoon? I don't do Tom and Jerry, but I do something called rug rats. Do you? I'm in that. I'm usually grandma. <laughs> you know why I'm grandma? Because grandma's tall like that. If they're very old, and they can't speak very clearly. They tall like that. That's my grandma voice. Are you from James and the Giant Peach? Yes. You, my friend here asked me, am I in James and the Giant you know, Peach? I was Aunt Sponge. Aunt Sponge was a horrible, <laughs> horrible woman. But it was ever such fun to do. What's your first film you've done? The very first film I was ever in was called um, A Nice Girl Like You. And it was directed by somebody Davis. I can't remember what his other name was. Not Terence. And there was a horrible old woman in it called Fabia Drake. Oh, frightening. She was very frightening. And she spoke like that. <laughs> and I was very nervous because it was my first film. And she said, what is your name? And I said, Miriam. She said, speak up. I can't hear you. What did you say your name was? I said, Miriam. Well, I can't, still can't hear you. But anyway, you better sit over there. <laughs> she was a very oh, nasty very old scary. lady. <laughs> right, thank you for all your fantastic questions, everyone. Shall we just give Miriam and Roger a big round of applause and say thank you?